I'm MJ, and I'm here in Los Angeles, California at the Girls Trip movie premiere. Stay tuned. See who we talk to next. Oh, it's been a lot of controversy with you, Danny. Ivana, fix my life. Your ex. It's just always some drama going on. How do you, like, how do you just deal with You open up a lot. We saw another side of you on Fix My Life. Honestly, I feel like I just move on. I just keep it moving. I don't want to stay stuck in one place, you know? So I just don't. I just keep it moving. I express how I feel. But it was the first time I actually let that stuff out publicly. And period. I hadn't cried like that in a long time. I cried like a baby. And I needed it. So it was good. It was good. What made you make the decision to finally open up more and let people see that other side of you that we normally don't see? Um, you know what? I'm, I'm at the point now where it's like, it's more relatable for people to understand the truth opposed to just the facade of what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm really good. The facade is easy, but the truth hurts. Like, So for me to even be... Um, expose that was hard, you know. So, and I, it, it, it helped so many people. I like, I was flooded, still flooded with DMs, seeing people. It was great. So, so what are you doing right now? I am now about to be a million millionaire matchmaker. So you always show that you woke on social media. How important is it to you to show your wokeness to everybody on social media? It's not. It's not important for me to show my wokeness. I feel like you, if you just are, you aren't. And I, I don't know, I, I feel kind of funny about the whole woke thing because there's a lot of the fake wokeness, people just portraying it, but they're not doing the work to actually have the information. And the information is how you educate and how you really spread awareness. So that's the important part. I'm just showing where I'm actually doing. That's actually why I don't post all day long. That's why you don't find me on social media a lot. Sometimes it's two, three weeks where I just, I don't have anything to say. I'm really just downloading information. And once I get it, I put it, put it back out there however it comes out. So. How have Jada Pickin helped you with, you know, your image? I know you have a very close relationship. How have she helped you with everything you have going on? Um, honestly, more than anything, what Jada has done is uh, she, she's a mirror for me. Um, I think we can be surrounded by so much chaos and dirtiness in this world. And um, we kind of, by default, we just become that because we just, it's, it's all we know and it's all we see. So when you get an opportunity to see something beautiful, um, it shows you the beauty that you possess. And um, it also allowed me to change my perspective on women and black women and how important and how divine the feminine energy is in this world. Um, and it's that yin and that yang. It's that balance that every man needs in, in his life. And for me, that's what she, that's what she is. Like she's a... She's a magician in that way. She just showed me the beauty of the world. She, it's like God sent her in my life to give me a new set of eyes. You know what I'm saying? And I love her for that.